And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling. Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel. Side Hustle Cinema here. Thanks for clicking on this video. And today, guys, we've got another mystery box opening. I'm uh, going to be doing the BAM box here for you today. Um, full disclosure, <laughs> uh, this will be the second time I've opened this box. I, I, oh, I shot a video a couple days ago and, and accidentally deleted the footage. Uh, so uh, this box will not be a surprise. I already know what's in the box. Uh, but yeah, I accidentally deleted the, uh, the file on my laptop and um, I wasn't even going to do the video but I wanted to talk a little bit about BAM and the and the future of BAM because you know I'm sure if you you know receive these BAM boxes and stuff you, you probably already know that uh, that BAM is going to be calling it quits uh, they're going to be no more uh, as of December 15th is supposed to be the last box that ships out and so uh, six more months of BAM boxes, and and that's it. So, uh, but that's interesting, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that because, you know, it wasn't that long ago that BAM had a little shakeup in their ownership. You know, they've been around for seven, eight years almost, and uh, you know there was like two guys running it, and so. Was it like four or five months ago? Like one of those guys bowed out or sold his stake to the other one, and um, that's when they had the big announcement that you know they're going to be getting rid of the peekaboo stickers, get rid of those uh, trading cards, you know, in the boxes, and get back to the basics, you know, the convention in a box where you get a pen, autograph. Uh, art print and then some kind of collectible and uh, that was great news and they were also supposed to streamline the shipping they were supposed to be taking less orders so that they could fill them easier and do all this different stuff and he promised that that first box was going to be a really great one a banger and that first one was that was the Linda Blair box and so that was all great and everything was good and you know, there's supposed to be this big, you know, um, future for BAM and stuff. And then we get the news the other day that, um, you know, he's going to just fold the company. Uh, they're moving on to another uh, type of business, you know, something with like urban clothing. I, I don't know what it was. I really zoned out during that. He's a weird, hard guy to follow when you watch his live streams. He's all over the place very scatterbrain seems to be and uh, so yeah I, I don't see how he runs a company anyway I'm not, I'm not really surprised he doesn't he seems like maybe the guy that left was kind of the one that did most of the heavy lifting but anyway uh, I don't know the guy I shouldn't attack him personally but uh, he just didn't seem to be like very well organized uh, but uh, so anyway, they're 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 leaving, and uh, you know I don't know they're supposed to be offering a six month package like where you can get the final six boxes at a cheaper rate, but I would not do that because I'm very skeptical that they'll even finish out the six months. I, I kind of am. I don't know. Um, there's no obligation. I mean, you know, they could fold up tomorrow and and that would be it, you know. So there's zero chance that I would do that six-month deal. Even at a reduced rate, I would just stick with uh, the monthly subscription. That way, if you get burned, you only get burned for like, you know, 35 bucks or whatever it is. Um, the last box is supposed to be something really great. And that, you know, kind of has my interest peaked uh, if we get there. But who knows if we're going to get there or not. So uh, that's the story of BAM. Because there has been some issues here lately. I've, I've heard from some people in the community. It didn't affect me any, but there was a, 
a box that came out. It was like a one-off box, kind of expensive, and it hasn't shipped. And uh, a lot of people are, you know, uh, just trying to send messages and and uh, sending emails, this and that, and they're not getting any response. And so, and I know a few people, you know, in the mystery box kind of autograph community who have stopped uh, with BAM over that. They have, you know, canceled their subscriptions. And um, so, I don't know. Uh, you know, it went from uh, supposed to be the, the future of BAM to now closing the doors in a very quick turnaround. Uh, it smells of financial problems. And so I would say, you know, buyer beware. Stick to the monthly subscription and hopefully we get boxes for the rest of the year like we're supposed to. Alright, that's enough rant. Now let's get into the box. And, yeah, I already had it open. I did put back in the, in the paper. I could pretend like it's... Uh, <laughs> like a new opening. I, I wanted it to be authentic. I didn't want to try to fake an opening here. Well, I like the pen a, a lot. This pen is really great. And that is the uh, the Slumber Party Massacre Part 2. That's a very cool pen. Of course, that uh, Slumber Party Massacre 1 and 2 just came out on uh, 4K not that long ago. Just a few months ago. That's a really great pen to have. Uh, that was the like most common pen. Now the mystery prop was kind of cool. It's got some weight to it, and it's a uh, it's like a letter opener. It's it's supposed to be a replica of uh, this dagger from Ash versus uh, Evil. You know the Evil Dead series that was on uh, Ash versus the Evil Dead. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I actually didn't know it when I opened it. I had to look that one up. But uh yeah, it's it's pretty neat, pretty pretty cool. And uh yeah, it's got got a little got a little weight to it. Something you could actually uh use, I guess. Now the art print I really liked. I thought this was really nice. And that is X. Yeah, I thought that was a uh, thought that's a real good looking one. Of course, you got uh, you know the uh, Mia Goth there. Of course, um, you know she was Pearl and going to be Maxine. It's been a it's been a fun trilogy so far. Can't wait for Maxine to come out. And then finally we had the autograph. And this one I was a little bit uh, disappointed in. And that is uh, only because I have uh, Linnea Quigley's autograph like multiple times. Um, including a Night of the Demons print already. Um, so... Yeah, for me, it's just, it's such a duplicate thing. And then, uh, you know, there's a convention coming up later in the year where, like, the entire cast of um, Night of the Demons is going to be there. They're going to have, like, five or six members. And um, I was thinking about trying to go to that convention. So uh, this one just becomes, you know, kind of redundant, kind of uh, don't really need this one. I, I, I just... I've got I've got her you know from Return of the Living Dead. I've got her, her twice from The Barn. I've already got her on from Night of the Demons, and um, so I'm I'm pretty well covered with Linnea Quigley. I've never met her though. I've never met her. It's always been through um, something I purchased where her autograph was included. So overall decent box if you if you didn't have Linnea Quigley that would you know it'd be a great box um, you know the boxes have been good ever since this guy you know took over solo 
So I, I hope things work out well for the future. You know, but uh, it's kind of a shame. I, I will miss Bam a little bit. Uh, but Zobi, Zobi's an awesome company. So if you're looking for like a replacement box and you're not getting the uh, the Zobi Fright box, you should maybe try them out. They're very good. So well, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the on the Bam situation. Are you nervous that they may just leave town <laughs> early? <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, until next time, stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies, keep opening those mystery boxes, and I will see you on the next one.